Hello, dear viewers. My name is Dorothy Gelmar, and I welcome you to Festo's Exhibitor Pitch here at Achema Pools. Thanks a lot for tuning in. It was absolutely the right decision to join us. Why? For sure, because of our expert and the insights he will give us, and for sure also because of our topic. The automation of your process should be easy and efficient, and you want a customized solution for that, here you go, we have one, and now I'd like to introduce our expert. It's Pablo Ruiz, uh, Product Manager for Process Motion at Festo. Hello, Pablo. Hello, Doro. Pablo, you say the online configurator that we get to know in some seconds is so efficient that our customers have the feeling to order a standard product, right? This is right, yes. We want proof don't we, ladies and gentlemen, and for sure we get one. We also have the opportunity to interact. So if there is a question that appears, send it to me. It will appear here on my tablet, and I will hand this question over at the end of the presentation to our expert, to Pablo. So Thank Pablo, you. have fun and see you in 40 minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I'm really excited for having the chance to share with you how digitalization can help you in finding the right and entire solution for your process. You may be asking yourself, what is all this about? Imagine that for the automation of your process, you need to install several process valves, and all of them need to be automated. You need to assemble quarter actuator, um, put some uh, periphery like a positioner, like sensor boxes, or even pilot valve, a unique like, thi like this one. How do you do it uh, normally? How is the way you choose? Let's start from the beginning, how you use to design such a units. In the first step, you need to select what is the right process valve that you need for your application. If it's a butterfly valve or a ball valves in different configurations, if it's a flange or treated or clamp or welded end. At the end, you need to choose as well what is the size that fits perfectly in the, in the uh, piping of your process. And even you need to choose uh, the materials. Once you know what is exactly the valve that you need to install in your, in your process, you know what is the breakaway torque, which means the force that you have to apply in, in, the, in the shaft of the valve to be able to operate this valve. With this information, once you know this, you need to move and you need to go to select uh, the quarter tone actuator that will fulfill the, um, the function that you have defined. Besides the fact that you need to choose if the quarter tone actuator is uh, single acting, double acting, maybe you have to select coating and uh, range temperature. The critical and the most important part here that you have to do is sizing. You, knew you need to do the right size, sizing of the actuator in order to be sure that you will be able to operate, to move your process valve under the maybe critical conditions that you have defined. But attention, you need to do the right sizing, but you have to avoid oversizing, since this will lead to uh, unnecessary overcosting that you want to avoid. Once you know what is the size of the actuator after having to search in different uh, data sheets from different suppliers maybe, does it fit directly to your process valve? Or do you need to find some adapters that you have to install between the actuator and uh, the process valve in order to adapt the interface of uh, both, both, uh, both products? If this is the case that you need uh, such adapters, then look for those adapters in the different catalogs and order them. Once you are able to assemble the unit, you start with the periphery. Do you need for your application a pilot valve for the operation, a um, limit the switch box for having the feedback signal about the position of the, the process valve or even the electrical feedback signal? Do you need uh, positioners or optical indicators? If this is the case, again, you have to start from the beginning again, you have to move, you have to go to the catalog and uh, search 
for, for the right accessories. And once you know exactly you have all the accessories that you have to order, you order them, and when you get all, all the accessories at your facility, you are able to assemble all the components. Dear customer, after doing that, you know you, you have finished maybe your job. But the question is, did you finish your job in an efficient way? Mm, probably not. Maybe you are asking yourself, OK, or are you are telling yourself that, you know it, but what is your alternative to do that in a better way? Let me introduce the process automation configurator online that Festo has developed exactly for this task. With the process automation, automation configurator online, we will support you from the projecting the, the complete solution to uh, finding, the, to doing the sizing of the actuator, getting the price and delivery time and ordering. At, at the end, you get the key of our facility for getting the whole solution that you need for your application completely assembled. Let me show it how it works in a just small example. Imagine that for your process, the process valve that you have to install is such a process valve. It's a welded-end welded end ball valve um, half inch, and we have to install the rest of the accessories, the quarter actuator, the uh, limit uh, switch box, and the pilot valve. And it's for a 8x application. How do we find the solution in just few clicks? First of all, we go to the, to the process automator configurator, and we say in just few clicks how the system looks like. We say that the auto actuation is automatic. We say that uh, we need uh, 8x certifications. And uh, as I mentioned, we require feedback signal and a pilot valve. Having done this small step, we have already the idea what you are looking for. And from this point, you will get just specific questions uh, looking for the specific solution that you need for your application. In the next step, valve and media, we will configure the process valve that you are looking for. First of all, you get the question, what is the connection type that you need? Flange, thread, clamp, welded end. In order to avoid misunderstandings, you have always a info button telling you and showing you with uh, very easy pictures what is exactly what we are meaning with that. We will say that it's uh, welded N. After that, I specify the norm that this is fulfilling, which is in this case uh, EN 126027. And then I have to introduce the media pressure, since this will have influence in much other uh, parameters like media temperature. I choose 10 bars, and this is the reason why I have the complete, the complete uh, range from minus 20 to 200 degrees. So I will say that the media temperature, the minimum is uh, 5, and the maximum 50, for example. And after that, I have to choose the size that I'm looking for, the valve that I have in my hand is uh, half inch. And now I have to choose what is the normal position, which means the position where you have to go back after um, when something if uh, system crashes. After that, I have the configuration of the system and then I jump to the application. First, Actuator, what is the mode of operation? Again, in an info button, you have the information exactly what we mean with uh, double acting and single acting. For this example, I will use a single acting actuator. And uh, in order to do the sizing in a, a, a accurate way, of course, we need to say what is the operating pressure that we have. I will go for something standard, which is uh, 60. And after that, I have to say what is the safety factor that I put on top of the breakaway torque that I have, I have to add it here. I will exaggerate a little bit since I want to show you what is the effect when, uh, when I do this. As you can see here, you get a graphic telling you what, how the solution that you have uh, configured look like. 
and um, I can even have a uh, 3D model of the solution that I have selected. I can continue with the electrical specification in the meantime when this is uh, charging, well, I can change uh, the operating voltage from 24 volts to whatever I, I, I search. At the end, as you can see here, you get the whole solution with the adapter, bridges, everything assembled, everything ready for uh, installing. At the end, you can even get the price and delivery time directly, the price and delivery time that you have arranged with, uh, with uh, your uh, contact person from Festo, and then you order, and again, you get the key, and this uh, unit will be assembly. Looks good, right? Try it out by yourself, because in just one stop shop, you get the whole solution for your application, even if it's a butterfly valve assembly like this one till the N400, or if it's a ball valve uh, unit, or even if what we need is, or what you need is the unit without any kind of uh, process valve to be assembled in the valve that you have in your facility. Try it out because you will get the whole and complete solution from one hand already proof. And try it out because you will save plenty of your precious time. Try it out at uh, www.festo.com. If, if you are still there, thank you very much for your attention, and I will be glad to answer any questions that you could have. Thank you very much. And I'm happy to join you again, Pablo. Thanks very much for the dive into our online configurator and thanks for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. We received two questions mm -hmm. that I'd like to pass to you. Uh, the first one is, it seems that this tool has plenty of options, but what can be done if for my application I cannot find the feature that I require? Thank you very much for your question. Of course, we cannot cover with this tool uh, the whole range that you could have as, as a need, but what we do with this tool is uh, we offer to the customers the possibility to do the configuration that, uh, that uh, they, which is close to the final solution, and at the end, directly in the tool, instead of sending the order, they can send a request here. And this request will be, as you can see, this, uh, this in, this, uh, in this part, you can introduce what are the differences compared to the version that uh, maybe you wanted, uh, you couldn't find here in the standard version. In this case, our colleagues from, from the customer solutions department, they will get this and they will start a project for you to find the right solution. Individually, thank individually, you very totally much, individually, yes. Pablo. One more question. What is the total number of possible combinations that can be created with the configurator? Thank you very much. Um, again, we are, this is a tricky one because uh, we are really um, we are really extending uh, every day the options that we cover with the standard one. Um, right now, we believe that uh, we have uh, more than 100,000 different combinations that you can find directly without needing to uh, interact with any other person from or any other contact persons. And again, if not, if you cannot find within those uh, 100,000 uh, possibilities, your option, you have always uh, the, the, the possibility to contact us and send us a request to find a solution. That's a perfect keyword, contact us, ladies and gentlemen. We are now at the end of our session. Hopefully it was interesting for you. I'm sure it was. Thanks a lot, Pablo, for these insights. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, check out our company profile here on Achema Pools. There you can find all contact persons. You can find the contact details of Pablo Ruiz and also from all other contact persons and experts from all over the globe in your language. You can choose a video call, a chat, or a normal call, email, any you want get in contact with us let's interact we want our innovations to help you in your business thanks a lot check out our sessions for today and also for tomorrow and hopefully see you there bye bye and greetings from Esslingen